All right, give some people some time. I know you guys are probably not getting that alert like you guys used to. I guess YouTube has uh, stopped me from getting my word out, but it's all good. But I got to tell you what happened last night. It's a very eventful night. Didn't get to bed, excuse me for how I look. Didn't get to bed till 4 o'clock this morning. Um... What time is it? I think it's it's eight o'clock. Hold, hold on, hold on. It's ten o'clock. I did not uh, go to bed until four o'clock last night. We got in late, so um, let me give you guys time here because I don't want people to ask questions here. But uh, this is regarding Ron Young. This is regarding my sons and daughter. This is regarding my brothers here at Straightway Truth Ministry. Um, guys, the hate is real. The hate is real. Okay, there's enough of you guys in here, and I'm assuming you guys can all hear me. Um, last night, I told you guys, I gave you guys a heads up that... Uh, um, my sons and uh, my three, three of my sons were going to be doing a Christmas program that I forbid it. I, I, I gave uh, notice to uh, Ron Young, the headmaster of uh, Providence Academy here in Green Bay. And I'm guys, I'm going to be very watchful of my words. Um, I'm going to be slow to speak because uh, they're watching. And they're looking for an opportunity to try to take me out, take my family members out at Straightway Praise Land. So I'm going to be, I just want to get this information out in a way that you guys will understand. Um, last night, and I'm not going to get too many details because we are in the, we are in the middle of an investigation. So I got to be watchful in what I say. But uh, last night, two of my brothers was arrested uh, for going to the Christmas program um, um, via my direction to go get a videotaping of my sons performing in the Christmas program. Two of my brothers, Ron Young called 911 to take out, uh, to, uh, uh, to get uh, brother Jordan and brother Ryan arrested. And um, they do, they used a lot of extortion uh, tactics to get information, to, uh, to uh, trespass our own rights, the rights that is given to us by, the, by, by Yah, but the Constitution that promised that uh, we have uh, certain inalienable rights, all of that stuff was trespass. But we will have our day in court, but I just want to let you know that uh, Ron, uh, the two brothers was there under my instructions. All there was there is to get video tapings of my sons because I didn't want to go there and be a distraction. They were going to get video tapings of my sons performing in their Christmas program. That's all they wanted to do. They were peaceable. They blended in well. You know that if you guys know Brother Ryan and Brother Jordan, they're both uh, Caucasians. Um, and this is a most predominantly Caucasian school. So there was no reason to feel threatened or anything. Uh, Ron has actually uh, knew these guys. So when Ron uh, came up, he saw these guys and he pretty much asked him to leave for no reason, um, just because of their association with me. Um, and, and he called the police on them. I'm gonna just leave it as that. He called the police and they ended up in handcuffs and in jail. I ended up on the scene trying to get my brothers out of their predicament and um, they were attempting to try to arrest me. Uh, three officers put their hands on me and um, tried to put the, uh, put the cuffs on. I told them I do not consent. Um, I need a warrant and a probable cause. And listen to this. They literally wanted to put, their hand, put me in handcuffs for looking at their badge. And supposedly I was looking at one of the officer's gun. 
and they wanted to find probable cause to get me to react. They, they understand I'm not your typical nigga that's going to just go off the handle. I know how to be professional, and I was calm, but they could not touch me. I kind of felt like Jesus. Remember when Jesus spoke at the synagogue, they tried to throw him off on the rock, and they couldn't. That's kind of the moment. I really feel that Yah is with me. Um, they really was looking for a reason to get me. They, I mean, I'm telling you, they were looking. Ron just flat out lied and said that we threatened to, to do something bad at the school. You know, you know about this whole situation with the black Hebrew Israelites in New Jersey trying to, trying to create the same type of uh, fear factor here. So I'm not going to give them any reason, but guys, I want to show you guys something here. This is how I know. I mean, I already knew this about Ron, but this solidifies it for me. This is because now I've seen the full manifestation of this man. Let me tell you about my relationship with Ron. First of all, Ron is the headmaster because of me. I was the only one on the board. When I was on the board of Providence Academy, it was a big donor was one of the board members. I was the only single person that that literally put everything on the line to get that man hired. He was a he was a part-time teacher, throwing papers and stuff, doing paper routes. I saw his potential. I li I literally put everything on the line to get him to be the the headmaster at Providence Academy. Not only did I get him in there, I actually labored alongside of him or with him to raise money, I put in time to promote the school and do everything to use all of my uh, celebrity status, my, my, my platform to help him succeed. He had my full support. I did this for Ron. Ever, when Ron, it comes to Ron, I've always been good to him, done good to Ron. And the evil that he committed to me and my brothers and my family is evil, straight wicked. He returned my good for, he returned, he gives me evil for my good. Did he not come here for a debate? When he came here for a debate, we welcomed him to, to our property. We, we, we made sure he was comfortable. We asked him if he wanted water, anything to eat, showed him amazing hospitality, amazing hospitality. Every time Ron has come, where straightway truth has been, we have been nothing but Great host, great visitors. When we went to Jacob's Well, great. We even made sure that we would left Jacob's Well. We made sure that the, the place was clean. We had our team to make sure the bathroom was clean, to make everything just, we wanted to leave the place better than we found it. Ron came here for the debate. We made sure he had everything he needed, coat, everything, whatever he needed, water, food, Hospitality. Every time Ron has come to my house, I have given him respect. I have taken care of him. I made sure he had everything he need. Every time. I can't think of one time that I've ever disrespected him, did not show him hospitality like he was like, like he was an angel. And then my brother goes on to his property. And it's not even probably a rental property to an op a public event, not causing any problem. And as soon as he sees him, he doesn't even say, hey, how you guys doing? Hey, I need you guys to leave. And then calls 911. Didn't even ask my brothers, may I help you? Is there anything that we can do to make your, your, your time here comfortable? Did not do this for any way. Just called 911. And then called us for call my call my brothers for trespassing. I was just leaving as that. And 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 this is how Ron returns the good that we have done. Ron cannot. We never called the police on Ron. We've never beat him up, harmed him, made sure he had everything he need. And so look at our footwork and look at Ron. For, and Ron represents Christianity, and we represent Straightway Truth Ministry. We always do everything above par, try to be hospitality, everything. And what does Christians do? Call the police on you. They go to the law. And then they put my brothers in handcuffs. I was up all night. 
I had to bail them out. It cost me $2,000 to get my brothers bailed, bail money. I had to spend $2,000 and it wasn't, and I had to go around trying to find cash. Yes, yes, I got my brothers out. But I'm going to tell you right now, the commitment, the love that I see here at Straightway is off the freaking chain. I got two brothers that was willing to, to fall on the sword for me. For me. Not one single Christian would have ever done that for me. Not one. But my brothers was willing. I had to even stop one brother and say, just cooperate because I can't stand you being in there. I want to get you out. And I was able to get information in there to let him do stand down, stand down. I appreciate, but stand down. He was willing to be there for three or four days, whatever it took. And when I gave him the word, he stand down and gave them what they needed so he can get out. Those are my brothers. And I would do the same for them. Christianity never, I'm telling you, when I'm telling you being part of straightway, I have never experienced any type of loyalty to Yah to each other, the love to be willing to, to die for one another. One has never even been in jail before and was willing to do everything. Can you believe that? Two Caucasian brothers went to jail and the black one got to walk free. That part was comical, to be honest with you. So guys, this is all I wanted to tell you guys. I didn't want this to be long, but I want to remind you, I was telling this to Bree this morning, don't be offended. Don't be offended. And I'm going to show, and I hope Christians are watching this stuff because I know they're spying on my liberty looking for me to say something. But I'm going to show you that Christians are wicked. Ron Young is the epitome of a Christian. He's the headmaster. He's a ruling elder at Jacob's Well. This man's right. And this man do not know the father and he neither does he know the Jesus himself, Yeshua HaMashiach. He does not know. And I'm a proof to you. And my, I'm a proof to you he doesn't. He thinks he knows Yah, but he doesn't know Yah. He doesn't know Yah. He doesn't know Jesus. He is a devil worshiper. He is a devil worshiper. He is a wolf in sheep clothing. These are the people that Yah, that Yeshua warned us of. He is a sheep in wolf's clothing. Or a wolf in sheep clothing. Sorry. Let me calm down. Because they, they, they was, you know, when you're around them, you can't talk like this. You got to talk real slow. And these officers, you can tell they have the same spirit. I'm going to tell you guys, don't ever trust those people in uniform. You tr don't, tr don't, don't sit there and be buddy, buddy. Don't chop it up. Don't be kicking. I don't care. They're going to sit there, try to get your guard down, to try to get information, to extort information. If you don't give it to them when they do it the nice way, they will get aggressive and treat you worse than a dog. I saw it in my own eyes. Hey guys, I'm telling you, I was that guy that believed in the system. I know. Sue me. I believe in the goodness of man. There is no goodness of man. Their heart are wicked above all things who can know it. I believe in the people in the uniform. Those people in uniform was the most rude. And I know the chief of police, and they were so rude to me. Just because I was invoking my rights. My constitutional rights, which gives me benefit as a man. And they act, and these are the same officers that gave an oath to uphold, to support the Constitution of the United States of America and, the, the, uh, and in, in Wisconsin, the Constitution of Wisconsin gave an oath. And they do not support, they do not affirm. Anything like that. They don't. I don't care what their oath is. You can see it right there in the Constitution. They don't give a damn about the Constitution. Just like Christians don't give a damn about the word. But we care about the word. And I'm going to show you that, that, that Ron Young is a snake. He is a fork-tongued uh, serpent. He's the, he's the child of the devil. He is a what? That, if you want to know what a white devil looks like, Ron Young is a white devil. That is a white devil. This whole time trying to make it seem like he wants to be my buddy because he knows all the things I've done. And the whole time he was looking to take my ass out. 
And you know something I should have known because yesterday, the, the day before when I gave him the bill, he says, I'm worried about you, man. I just don't want to see you end up in jail. He was already tipping me off that he was going to go to that type of level. The way he treated my brothers off the bat, they didn't do anything. They, they were actually cool. They were actually mingling around like, hey, how you guys doing? And oh yeah, we're here to see the show. They're talking about Jesus. We got this all on tape. They literally was there to enjoy the festivity. They did not do anything to cause no harm. No people was even talking. And Ron was walking by and spotted them. He was just doing, he spotted and said, are you guys, uh, he said, well, you know, we just here to show. You, if you guys know Brother Ron, um, bro, Brother Jordan, Brother Ryan. So anyway, let me read. Here's what the word says. John, John 16, verse 1. Now, I've been reading this stuff. But I'm going to read it again. It says, these things I have spoken unto you. This is Yeshua talking to us. These things I have spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. Guys, don't, I'm not offended to Ron because Ron is a devil. Do you get offended for the devil doing what they do? The devil do evil. His, what does the devil come to do? He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You can't get mad. That's his function. That's his language. That's what he do. That's his culture. It's to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what Ron was doing. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. Why? Because he is, he is the same as his father, the devil. That's why. But hey, what do I know? Let's see what Yeshua said. Let's look at the footwork. Ron has been to my house. All the years he's known me, he's been to my house. From the first time Pastor Dow came here to the last of the debate, and we, we, we gave him food, off the chain hospitality. Off the chain hospitality. Never was, I've never got that type of hospitality from Ron Young. Maybe one time with my family, but maybe because it was more for Eileen than it was for me. That's the only time. But ever since I came into this truth, he has been hostile. He has been hateful. He has been wicked, evil. But what did Yeshua say? These things I have spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. So all of you guys that are Hebrew Israelites, commandment keepers. Faith in Yeshua HaMashiach. Do not be offended by these people. Do not be offended. Jesus tells us that we commence is do not be offended. They shall, this is what he says, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time has come. Guys, we are in the time that comes that whosoever shall kill us you. We're, they're not at the point of killing, but they're doing it. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. They will kill you. There's going to be a time that Ron will be ready. Matter of fact, they were looking to kill me to that last night. What are you doing? You're looking at doing? Every, it was so cold. I put my hands in my pocket. Get your hands in your pocket. They could have shot me. They were, that, that's, they were so trigger happy. Looking for something to, 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 to arrest me, to shoot me. And you had all these Christians smiling. Act like everything is okay. And I'm going to tell you another thing too. But look it. It says these things will do unto you. Uh, because it, and they, and look it. And they said, and kill you and will think. And they will think that they doing God's service. And these, he says, and these things they will do unto you because. Why do they do this? Why is Ron doing this? Why are these people so wicked? Here's why. Because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things, that's why they do it because they don't know the Father. They don't know Yeshua HaMashiach. They don't know Jesus the Christ. But these things I have told you that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I have told you of them. And these things I said unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. So guys, don't be offended. But I can tell you, when I was a Christian, I never got kicked out of the synagogues. I've never got kicked out because people thought they were doing God's service. You name, I bet you Ron Young has never been kicked out because of uh, doing God's, uh, because people thought they were doing God's service. Ron Young called the police on me. I'm the one that got him his job. I'm the one that donated all this money to try to help my brother. I mean, at the time. Help Ron. So, this is it. And now, 
Let me, let me end on this note. And I'm not offended on this. I see my eldest son. Literally, he's been used the whole time. Satan has been using that boy the whole time. He's his mama's boy. That's what he is. Infeminate. This boy walks by me. Literally, guys. I, I, guys, I can't make this thing up. He sees me. I looked and said, Rashid, are you not going to greet your father? And he literally did this. Shugged his shoulder and just kept on walking. Like, he treated me like worse than a piece of shit. My eldest son. Man, guys, save yourself. You know what I learned watching that when I was at that Christmas program? I can tell you the mistake that I made raising my son. One, I shouldn't have put them in a private school. Shouldn't have done that. Should have homeschooled. All you people that got your sons and daughter in public school, private school, man, you, I'm, you, you're making a huge mistake. They will train your sons and daughters to dishonor you. That's where he's learned it. He's learned that it's okay. It's comfortable to dishonor your father and your mother. It's, it's literally okay. And so if I can find this, I want to I want to read this to you here. I think it's uh, Matthew, but as I look this thing up, uh, Matthew, man, I can't, it's on my phone and I can't even think of it right now. But anyway, so my son walks by. I even send him scripture. I say, it's so interesting. Because of your traditions, you, you, know, you, you nullify the commandment of God because of your traditions. And I think that's in Matthew 5. Let me think. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, right here. I found it. See? Wow. It's the Holy Spirit. Wow. I feel right. Matthew 15. Hey, listen to this, guys. This is Matthew 15. But before I read this, I want to show you something here. So my son totally disrespected me. I, I, I live with my, my dad lives with me. I would never do what my son did to me, never in a million years. The Bible says, honor you in the commandment, but because Christians don't keep the commandment, it says, what he says? He says, he says, uh, he says if, uh, is this, this commandment comes with a promise. Honor your father and your mother that your days, that your days will be long, right? My son, he has it coming. If he doesn't repent, he has it coming. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly, he treated me like, I, I mean, bro, I, when I tell you that, like, man, if, if he was in my house, I would, woo-wee. Mm. But he can do that because he's being protected to do wickedness. But let me show you what they're doing. It says, this is what Jesus says, but he answered and said unto them, why do you transgress the commandments of God by your traditions? Christmas, this is exactly what's happening. For God commanded saying, honor thy father and mother, and he that curse." father or mother, let him die to death. My son has a death wish. And any of my sons that want to do what his, their eldest brother did, that's what you're going to be doing. You're not going to live a long life. It says, this is what he says, curse it. He cursed me. See, people think curse is like saying F you and this. No, no, no. He cursed me. He dishonored me. He dishonored me. Everything he has comes from this man. If you can dishonor me who's alive, who's, re who's right here, if you can dishonor me and everything you had came from me, your life has come from me. The clothes on your back comes from me. Your very DNA comes from me. Your re the resources, the food comes from me. Because your mother wasn't out there uh, with the Green Bay Packers out there day in and day night sweating. And playing football and, and putting their body on the line to put food on the table to, and to give you a, a life. And you dishonor your father. I'm putting it out there. You dishonor your father and you are, you call yourself a follower of Jesus Christ. You are the, you, you are also a don't know the father and you don't know Yeshua HaMashiach. And if you don't repent, you're going to end up in the same place as Ron Young too. Dishonor me like that. I wish you would come to me a mano a mano and do that. But you got cops, you got all these people protecting you. All these women, Jezebel, protecting you. You see, I guarantee, Rashid, one day you and I are going to come face to face. And you're going to be begging me. Watch, watch what I'm going to do. I'll do the same thing you did to me. Straight up. But what it says, but don't be offended, right? But look, it says, it says, why do you transgress the commandments of your God, of God by your traditions? 
For God commanded, saying, honor thy father and that mother. He that cursed father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, what so, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. Rashid, it's okay for you to dishonor your father. Don't listen to your dad. Your dad is just a nigga. You can do whatever you want. Listen to your mama. Even though your mom is rebelled and dishonored, you can do that. We will protect that. Don't worry. It's all about the kids. It's all about the kids. It says what? But whatsoever thou mightest profit by me, and honor not, and honor not, and honor not his father or his mother, and he shall be free. Thus, you have made the commandments of God of none effect by your traditions. Christmas, Easter, Sunday. Ye hypocrites. Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, of you, saying, these people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. See, Christians do stuff with their mouth. I'm telling you, their words are smoother than butter, like pastors say. And they honor me with their lips. That's Christianity. But their heart is far from me. But in vain. Oh, yeah, they say, no, the... The, the son, the, your sons, are, your seed, they're just out there. They're just honoring God. We've got Christmas trees in the back there, lit, lit up, decked with silver and gold. Literally up there. This is what they got my son doing. They got my sons, my property, doing pagan worship. And I told them I forbid it. And they dishonor me. And they also make it seem it's okay for my son. And my, it's okay for my son to do it. They're teaching them. You can dishonor your father. Don't listen to your father. We're going to make sure you guys get to it. They use the sons. They use the, uh, the children to try to oppress the, the man. And the woman rules over them. So that the men walk in error. See? But it says, but in vain. They do worship me. This is what it says. But in vain. But in vain. But in vain. But in vain. They do worship me. Teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. So, guys, I didn't want to get so long. I just want you guys to know Ron Young is a snake. If you have him in your thing, block him out. They're spying on our liberties. They're going to try to use it to try to say that we're some type of hate group. They're the hate group. They don't love they have no love in them. And here's another thing I was going to say. <coughs> I'll end on this if I can. I think about Eileen, my ex-wife of 16 years, had seven sons, one daughter through her. You know something? This really comes down because she chose to rebel. She's rebellious. Because of her rebellion and all the people that's coming alongside and supporting this wicked woman, this shameful woman. They don't even know by their support of her, they're partaking in her sin. And now Ron is involved. All the people that's involved, they all, she's, she is so wicked. They think, she, they think that she likes them or loves them. But they, and they're trying to use her for the money, but she doesn't, they don't even know that she is literally bringing all these people in. And to her rebellion, which is witchcraft, because it's at the point where Eileen doesn't even have to do anything anymore. Everybody's doing her bidding and they don't even know it because they are protected because they won't call evil, evil. They'll just stay out of it. They don't want to say, Eileen, you need to be reconciled back to your husband. What you have done is wrong. The Bible says what you need. You are bound to, they, they don't use it because the law is done away with. And because they won't call sin or openly rebuke her, they have now partaken in her sin. And because of her wicked, they are going to get the same judgment that she's getting. The sons are going to get it. The daughter is going to get it. All her, all her, what, uh, what they call it? My uh, frenzy, whatever cute words they use. She's taking everybody out with her. And they don't even know it. She's literally taking you out. That's why he says, don't be so quickly to put your hands on people, man. You are partaking in that woman's sin. She is so prideful. What does God say? He says, pride comes before the fall. Comes before the fall. He says, he will oppose the proud and exalt the humble. You watch. Yah is going to exalt me and he is going to bring Eileen and all her accomplices, all the, all the people 
that won't say anything, she's going down. So anyway, I just want to end. I appreciate your guys' support. Um, we'll see how this is going to do. But guys, the, the, the buck is real. Jesus, the, the Bible says, uh, the, the, uh, he says, don't be offended. So guys, don't be offended. Fight the good fight. Stand the course. Stay the course. Be laser focused. Shalom, shalom.